one one is the the the, the singularity theorems that Hawking and Penrose and uh, George Ellis uh, proved in the 1960s and 70s. And then there's something called the um, board guth vilenkin theorem, which I think is even a tighter uh, physics proof of a beginning. I think that there is a loophole with the Hawking, Penrose, um, uh, uh, Ellis singularity theorem, although it's, it's I think, very suggestive and, and highly indicative of a beginning. I mean, I'll, I'll, let me run it just Please, br- briefly because it's, it's, it's a fun thing to think about. So Hawking is uh, doing bl- black hole physics for his PhD in the 1960s. And he's at Cambridge and he's having these neurological symptoms and he's, he's diagnosed with ALS. He gets very, very discouraged. He thinks he's going to quit. And he's encouraged to press on by uh, close friends and he does. And he ends up uh, writing this brilliant thesis where he has one chapter where he's thinking about what the cosmologists are talking about is that we've got this expanding universe and if the universe is ex- expanding in the forward direction of time then matter is getting more and more diffuse over time.